everyone welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome this is the glam p27 um, and for those of you who have been part of this family welcome back um, it's always a pleasure and a joy to interact with all of you um, I love the comments that I get um, and I absolutely just adore interacting with everybody um, so thank you guys for all of you who leave comments and um, have subscribed and like my videos I really really appreciate it so today as you can see um, I'm in my living room and so the reason I'm here is because I thought like let me kind of um, change up the setting a little bit because sometimes things can get a little repetitive um, but also I wanted to model the bag that I'm going to show you so I wanted you guys to actually be actually be able to see how this bag looks um, I am good like I had a couple of people that were curious about this particular bag and so um, I'm going to sh like go deeper into this and I did actually take this out today um, it is the Marlo in lavender and I got a chance to take this for a spin so today I am doing a what's in my bag so you can actually see this beauty packed up um, I'll show you everything that I was able to fit into it and then I'll also talk about the dimensions the dimensions and the features so first and foremost this is sycamore leather it's part of their sycamore leather line it is quilted it features 18 karat gold hardware it is a um, it has a crossbody strap and there's the Vera Bradley logo on pretty much all of the hardware even on the um, zipper pull you get these two circular dots and they've got Vera Bradley on them um, the quilting is basically this fluid quilting it's almost like a diamond quilting but the diamonds don't actually have a sh like they're not completely shaped but it's it to me it reminds me more of fluid quilting you get the Vera Bradley logo on the bottom here if I can find it where to go oh get the Vera Bradley logo down here if you can see that um, you get two zipper pulls okay you get two top handles and the top handles do not lay flat they lay they stand straight up so if that kind of thing sort of bugs you um, you know it, it just might be something to consider oh my goodness another thing you get these four feet on the bottom these four gold feet now I did want to mention that um, there is piping that runs along the bag it runs down here it's also on this side and it runs across the length of the bag and then as well on the back side you get that piping down here so that's basically the features on the exterior of the bag. Um, I was able to take this out today and it was very lovely and the whole time like it was sitting in my car like so basically as I was driving I was kind of admiring it and um, even when I was where I needed to be um, I had to sit down on a table and I mean it just looks so beautiful. Um, I, the more I look at it the more happy it makes me. It's definitely one of those colors where I'm quite it's definitely one of those colors that I'm quite happy that I chose the Marlowe in lavender um, I definitely think the style is going to end up working for me I was very very pleased with this bag it is so soft you guys like this leather is exceptionally soft and it's plushy um no issues with it whatsoever so this is how I carried it today I basically carried it as a long purse and I wore a dark purple kind of long sleeve shirt and I wore neutral pants um and I wore it today as a long purse and I really quite enjoyed it like this um this is almost on the lowest setting so if you can see it's almost on the lowest setting and if I wear it crossbody 
Um, it sits kind of, it's, I guess it's okay like this too. I haven't worn it crossbody, but this is how it would look if you did wear it crossbody. I feel like it's a little high. Um, and then you can also wear it like this. On your forearm, the crook of your arm, you know, or as a handbag. I particularly really love this. Um, I wore it as a long purse today. I did also want to make a note of the dimensions. Um, it was very difficult for me to find something that was comparable to the size of the Marlowe because one, it is in leather and two, it has a very boxy shape a rounded box shape. Um, but I noticed that the multi-strap shoulder bag was pretty close in terms of width and height. Um, just, it's not as, the multi-strap is just not as deep as, as the Marlowe. But just for reference, um, it is um, 12 inches across, it's eight inches in height, and then it is four and a half inches deep from here to here. I measured it today. So, Lychee, these this is one of those bags that you cannot harass. We have to be very careful with this one. So, um, just so that you guys can get a bird's eye view, um, just so you guys can get an idea before I get into my what's in my bag, I'm going to just show you an overview of how I have it packed. You guys, look at that interior. I was so happy today every time i had to open my bag every single time i had to open it i was so ecstatic because that lining is just so gorgeous and i figured it out it is the rosewood but it's just in a different color variation it's just so loud it's loud but it's fun um and this whole bag just screams like it just screams fun carefree you know definitely definitely um, adoring this so far. So let's go ahead. I'm going to change the view and we'll get into what's in my bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my bag. That is everything. I'll start with these two slip pockets here. So in this one, I have my tissue case in pirouette pink. I have my mints in here. I've got two pens that are just attached here. I have my lotion. And I have measuring tape. This is in, um, oh, what is that pattern? Um, Floral Rush, I think. And then I also have my lipstick. And the lipstick is a MAC and it is um, Velvet Teddy. And this is what I usually wear when I'm wearing my, when I'm doing my videos. I really love this color. So I just kept that in there. Then I have my body spray in Victoria's Secret. And I just put that in this corner over here. And then I've got my um, French Paisley Sip ID, and I just keep my um, AirPods case in there, and that fit quite snug in here. And I have my French Paisley coin purse where I keep my masks. I've got some gum on this corner right here. I have my um, accordion RFID accordion wristlet in mint flowers, which I think looks really pretty with the lavender Marlowe. And this profile, because it is thinner, I feel like it fit very nicely um, in the bag without taking up so much space, but at the same time not being super small either. And then I'll just show you the inside. I did move um, my coins in here and I did move like all my cards and stuff in my cash. Instead of carrying around the slate blooms, double kiss lock I just moved everything in here and then I have my cord organizer in this lovely lavender um, French paisley look at how beautiful so pretty 
And in here, I just have my charging block, a charging cord, and my charging cable. So that's um, everything that I have in here. And this is like, the way I've packed it up is perfect for if I was gonna be gone for a long, like for a while. And these things would come in handy. Then in this back zipper pocket here, I just have a pack of hand sanitizing wipes. Oh, right, so that is everything inside the bag. So you can see just how much you can actually fit in here. I was really excited to take this for a spin today. In the exterior pocket here, the zippered pocket, I have my phone. And it fit perfectly in there. Um, I also had my keys, but my keys I just threw on top of everything. So yeah, guys, that is my what's in my bag and my thoughts on the Marlowe. I have been really, really happy with this bag. Um, I actually think I'm going to use it more than I thought I would. Um, surprisingly, because this color I'm very drawn to, the style I'm drawn to, and I feel like I'm actually going to get a lot of use out of this. So I'm really excited to wear this in. Um, I want to have some character on my bag. So I'm excited to wear it, wear this in. If this is a style that you're curious about, I know that um, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari have some of these left. They may be in different colors. I think I saw one lavender on there, but um, definitely doesn't hurt to try if it's something that you're curious about. Um, I've seen them for pretty decent prices, um, and I think that you can get returns on some of them if, if this style does not work out for you. So yeah, so that is my what's in my bag and then overview of the Marlowe and my thoughts on it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.